scary. I mean, you know, I I, I have a uh, cousin there, she and her husband, and um, you know, I, I haven't heard back from her yet. Um, but texting her to make sure they're okay. But I mean, you know, just a bunch of people out having trying to have a good time, and a, and a guy firing on you. I mean, it's it's scary, and it's tragic, and um, you know, certainly my thoughts are with all of those people. And, you know, it creates an atmosphere where you wonder if you can if you can do anything. I mean, Tobias sort of sarcastically a little bit today, but, he, you know, we were standing right over there before practice, and he said, are, are we safe in here? You know, I mean, it, it just, yeah, it's scary. That's the way it's getting. And, you know, I, I originally, I woke up in the middle of the night, and first thing I saw is two are dead, and then an hour later, 20 were dead. And by the time I got into work, they had said that, the count was more than 50 were dead, and it's just, wow, it's tragic. You just think of those people, you're trying to have a good time, and, and you know, I haven't heard anything on the guy's motivations or anything else, not that it really matters, I guess, but yeah, it's frightening. Do you think